I want to say something about the tears, um, um, because there are the tears when we feel sorry for ourselves, or there's the tears of, you know, regret um, and you know, loss. Um, there's another kind of tears, which are called the tears of the way, with a capital W, like the way, like the Tao or the path or the Dharma. And there's something that happens when you hear something and it resonates with your heart. Somebody's reading a passage from, you know, some beautiful poet or sacred literature. Or you hear a piece of music, you know, and you almost could weep because you remember, oh my God, human incarnation, it's tough, but God, I love it, you know, and that I love this. And it just reminds you, you know, to awaken and to be here. So those are a different kind of tears. And, and when, I, when I teach, even in the beginning, I like to name a whole mandala that invites you here, that those of you who are listening, no matter what your orientation or gender or race or caste or, or, or ability or capacity or age, the Dharma welcomes you. The gate is open to remember this spirit that you carry that was born in this life. Um, that's the, your original dignity and beauty that's called your Buddha nature. This is really what we're talking to. And then I'll tell some tear-jerking story that's really sad about, you know, someone who learned this and then was sitting with this close friend who was dying, you know, and holding their hand and everybody else is freaking out and they're just looking each other's eyes and saying, wow, what an amazing ride this was. I'm so glad we got to love each other mm. in this. and. In, in this time, what a gift it was. Or, or um, so I invite emotions and I say, how does your body feel as you listen to this, you know, and let yourself come back to yourself. And all of a sudden the body and the feelings and the mind and the vision and really the heart or the spirit are all invited to the table. And then you go, oh yeah, I'm home. Here we are. I'm here in the reality of the present. When Ram Das wrote the book, Be Here Now, he said it in those three incredibly simple words, you know, of three and four letters, to live in the timeless present because there's no other place. Mm. And yes, we can think about past and future and planet, but where we are is now and who we are is now. And we get to start over and over each moment. And so the invitation is to come into the timeless reality of the present.